Hi, welcome to the e-inks booth at SID 2012. We've got a number of different products that we are demonstrating today. We have uh, over 50 products, a lot of the e-reader devices that we've been very successful with. We also have a number of new designs on products that are uh, in variety of different applications. And we also have some new concepts, and I will show you, uh, I'll give you a tour of the entire booth. These are signs that are deployed outdoors, and uh, they've had very good luck with them. One of the advantages with our technology is it's sunlight readable, and with a very small battery, the device can go into a default mode in case of emergency power shutdown. And the default mode, it'll show emergency information, contact information, exit information, which is very valuable to the citizens of that local area. And uh, unfortunately, it has been used in those kinds of circumstances, but it shows the value of this technology. It consumes roughly 180th the power that's consumed by LCD, making this a very valuable display in outdoor setting, and it's an extremely thin device, and um, it uses electrophoretic technology. E-ink makes uh, displays that are as thin as paper, and they consume hardly any power. Here's a classic example of an application which can use that benefit or feature for, of the electrophoretic display. So in this particular case, we have a battery-less label. It's as thin as a sheet of paper with a barcode, and it has an e-ink display on it. There's no battery in this entire device. I'm going to energize this with the RF signal, you will notice that the display is also energized and it is able to uh, change the contents, which makes for an extremely low power application. In this section of our booth, we have a number of e-reader devices. That's what e-ink is famous for. We are pretty much, we have over 90% share in this marketplace. There are a number of new devices. I have in my hand the Barnes & Noble um, Nook Simple Touch with Glow Light. This is a front light that's applied on our display, making it uh, very readable, both in bed as well as outdoors. Apart from that, we have a number of other devices. We have the Amazon Kindle, we have the Sony Reader, we have the Kobo Reader, and here's another reader that's somewhat new. This comes from Wexler, and it's a flexible display-based device, and you can see from, uh, uh, from this angle, it's extremely thin and a very lightweight device taking e-readers into a whole other category. Apart from that, we have a number of larger devices here with displays ranging from 9.7 inch diagonal to uh, about uh, 12, 13 inch diagonal devices. These devices, in particular, the Ektaco Jetbook uh, uses the Triton color display that is uh, used in schools for educational purposes and uh, it's been well received both in schools in Russia as well as schools here in the U.S. Here's a new concept from E-Ink. We believe that we'll be able to save power in a traffic light environment where instead of having the LEDs shine at the driver, we're now shining the LEDs at our e-paper display. By turning our display on and off, we are able to um, show the signal or not. And the idea here is in a high ambient environment, we don't need to use all of the LEDs. We can use the sun and just add enough LEDs to make the um, display readable, or in this particular case, the traffic light readable. And obviously at night, we will use all of the LEDs. Uh, the advantage with our technology is it is viewable under all lighting circumstances, whether it's pitch darkness versus bright sunlight, even including direct sunlight. And also, there will be less driver distractions due to this. The display is... Um, um, acting in a reflective mode where it takes the ambient light as well as LED light reflecting off of the e-paper display back over to the driver. And also we have designed a crosswalk here where we have e-ink displays and I'm literally walking on e-ink displays to show how rugged it is. It is able to bear all of my weight and the weight of all the visitors that have come by, literally thousands of people in the last few days walking over this uh, um, crosswalk with the e-ink display and the traffic light. This is a smart collector, as the product is known, from Orange. And essentially it collects used cell phones. It's in a, used in an outdoor setting. It has an e-ink display that's segmented. It'll hold the image and when you drop your cell phone, it'll give you acknowledgement with a nice wide smile that it's happy that you're able to give it uh, your old cell phone. 
perfect application for e-ink technology. Sunlight readable, very low power, retains the previous image, and uh, also conveys um, just the information that the consumer needs. E-ink makes these ink in motion displays, which is a color overlay with the display in the back that gives you the perception of motion. And these displays are used in indoor point of purchase sales type environment and we've got a lot of traction. Our customers say that it lifts the sales up by as much as 70% in some instances. The Eton uh, Ruckus device is a Bluetooth boom box and it's based on uh, solar technology for power and it's used in outdoor environment. So the e-ink display was very important for them because it consumes very, very low power and it's probably the most rugged display in the world. E-Ink makes a number of different display devices. We've given several samples here. Uh, the advantages of E-Ink's technology in the surf designs is that you can cut the display into different shapes. They'll retain the last image that was imposed on them for a long time. And um, the designers no longer have to adapt their design around a rectangular display that they've been doing so far. They now have displays of any different shape. Now the display can be designed around the device. That is the advantage with this technology. I will show you another device that's already in production. This is from our customer InView. They have a cabinet lock that uses an e-ink display. The display is shaped like a donut, and this is a very unique aspect of our technology. You can cut the display into different shapes. What InView has done is something fantastic. They've uh, got rid of the traditional key in a cabinet lock, and this is a wireless type environment where by pressing the button, um, the display indicates that the lock is now open, and you can see that I'm able to slide the cabinet door, and when I lock the device back, I press this button, and I'm able to lock it, and the display indicates that the lock is latched, as you can see it is indeed. So when the lock is actually not in position and I accidentally lock it or if it's not latched properly it will give you an indication that uh, with the display that there is an issue here. It's in this intermediate, intermediate or indeterminate condition. So then the, um, uh, the clerk at the store would push this lock back and are able to once again lock it and get the confirmation. We believe this is a very useful way of um, uh, demonstrating our technology and InView is able to take advantage of this feature in our display where there's no battery in the lock and um, the battery is literally in the key and we are able to energize the lock and uh, get the information through the e-ink display. E-ink surf displays can be used for battery indicators as well as for um, showing speed and other information which is typically not found in a handheld drill. So we are able to make a really unique and really cool device with this. It's a prototype, it's not in production yet, but as you can see, we can convey a lot of information to the user with this device. I'm going to show you another example of e-ink technology used in a very unique application. This is also a concept device. It's a ba case for a mobile phone. We're able to cut the e-ink display into different shapes to get a very aesthetically pleasing design where um, we can show uh, clock information, uh, we can show messages as well as um, a unique way to represent how much battery life is left on, on that particular charge. So this can be reconfigured into whatever information the user wants and um, you're able to take advantage of the fact that the display is sunlight readable, it's very thin, and you're able to um, deploy it in a mobile phone uh, without increasing weight and without increasing thickness of the device. E-ink surf displays are used in outdoor type applications because they are sunlight readable, very thin and light, and the battery lasts forever. So in this particular concept, we have built what is known as a bicycle computer. It replaces a traditional LCD in a small bike computer that shows information like miles, uh, miles per hour and the time and so on and so forth. Eventually our plan is to have this display incorporated in the handlebar where when you grip the handle you'll be able to get pulse rate and uh, heart rate information so on and so forth. But uh, as you can see the display is very thin as well as extremely sunlight readable. 
in a kayak like outdoor environment the inks round display uh, can be incorporated showing a lot of different information it's an outdoor setting it's sunlight readable uh, in this particular application it'll be waterproof these are e-inks next generation triton displays we call them triton 2 we have this exactly same image on a number of different displays that have different resolution different diagonal sizes some with anti-glare film some without to give you different uh, types of images on the exact same display and the Triton display maintains all the benefits of uh, E-Ink's uh, electrophoretic core technology which is very readable, um, it's uh, very usable in outdoor ambient, high ambient setting, it's um, extremely low power and it's also now able to offer color content particularly suited for textbook type applications. In addition, we put a front light on a Triton display that enables reading both in the dark as well as um, makes the um, color uh, features in the Triton display look much better with this particular device. And uh, I'll give you an example of a monochrome um, display, which is the Nook with the glow light, which also has uh, a similar feature of front light uh, on our um, uh, electrophoretic display. These are the pervasive displays. Uh, our partner pervasive uh, displays make uh, electrophoretic display modules for industrial and retail environment. They make a number of devices that are used in store for shelf labels, sort of like the ones that I'm pointing to here, as well as um, slightly larger displays for in-store signage and th th that sort of a thing. Epson has made a new chip for us, an SOC, that's able to drive our display and show animation. You can see from um, this achievement, they have been able to get our display to almost seamlessly um, show animation without any jerky motion in the video and so on. This is um, uh, extremely well done and we are able to uh, run this display on a continuous loop and you can see that um, uh, the performance is very good. So we are able to now do a full motion or animation with, um, uh, with the Epson SOC and the ink displays. These are E-Ink's 300 dpi displays that has roughly twice the, re uh, the resolution as uh, the uh, previous generation displays, which are typically about 167 dots per inch that are used in most e-reader applications. These are designed for um, some of the non-publishing applications where, um, like medical records, for example, other industrial type environment, we can show a lot more data, we can show diagrams, maps, and so on, and th that can take benefit of the 300 dpi resolution. In addition, I'm going to show you our flexible displays. These were developed in-house at E-Ink. We have smaller displays that have been uh, built for mobile phone type applications, displays with a rugged uh, a glass cover to protect in case of a, an environment that requires that level of protection. We make displays which are flexible and therefore you can curve the display. And I also have a sample here in my hand and you can um, the display is extremely rugged because there's no glass to break and I will once again drop this except I don't like to pick it up but there you go. Yeah. So it still maintains the very thin profile, um, consumes zero power. Obviously I have an image on this and there's no battery connected to it. I'll retain this forever and um, it's sunlight readable of course. It's a very bright light here. and. Um, uh, and you can see the image is very, very readable on this display. E-Ink has been very successful in uh, e-readers used for leisure reading, and we are now able to offer E-Ink's technology in a number of e-readers used uh, primarily in uh, the education environment in schools. You can see in the backdrop kids using these devices. The advantage of our technology is it, it does not strain the child's eyes uh, as against other technologies that will emit light into the children's eyes. It's used outdoors as well as indoors, very rugged, and these devices can be extremely useful in schools. Um, what we're looking at is not just a device that replaces one or two textbooks. We're looking at a device that's an entire library. So the child carries a library in their backpack, literally, and they have access to this information, whether they're at home, whether they're outdoors, or whether they are at school in the classroom.